Hey guys, and welcome back to Let's Play Tales of Eternia. Uh, last time we had just entered Chazelle's castle, and we're... Um... I don't know, what were we doing? We weren't doing a whole lot just yet, but um... We're gonna go ahead and explore at least a little bit of it this time. And yeah, between the last video and this one, I've been running around fighting a ridiculous amount of battles, and... Hold on, I need to turn this down. God, that was loud. But yeah, like I said, I've been fighting a ridiculous amount of battles and gaining... I don't even know how many levels we've gained. It's, it's insane. I think I've gained probably ten levels. Okay, maybe not ten, but a lot, that's for sure. I don't know. Maybe you guys can tell between the last video and this one the difference in HP and TP. It's a lot. <laughs> I am going to use a holy bottle though because I don't want to get into any battles. Trust me, I have fought way more than enough here. I am so over battles at this point, it's not even funny. Mithril Mesh, a luck bag, that's for chat. Who we never use. A demon seal and. A mum mumbane? I don't know. It's armor for him, and it's better, so we're giving it to him. What else did we pick up? Do to do, do new items. Demon seal. Experience is doubled, but you get cursed with two random status anomalies. A mystic sword. It's a water-based weapon. Not that useful. Mithril mesh. I'm tempted to give it to Pharah, but. If I do, then she's going to lose her HP regenerating effect that um, the Holy Cloak gives her. So I think for now we're just going to leave her with, uh, with what she's got. This item is the Dark Sphere. Uh, it's important that we get that because that is one of two items necessary for the final upgrade to the Vanilsha. Yes, you heard right, we are going to be upgrading our ship one last time. But I'm not going to tell you what it does. That's going to be a surprise. Well, it'll be a surprise to the people who haven't played the game before. Everyone else I'm sure knows what we're going to get, but that's okay. Yes, we won. 10,000 gold, that's nice. I don't have the Saphir equipped on Reed anymore because, as you can see, we have over 2 million gold. That is more money than we will need ever. If we wanted to, we could get the warp station for the Van Elsha, but at this point in the game, it's actually kind of useless. I don't know, I might just get it for giggles anyway, we'll see. <laughs> Alright, how did we get into a battle? I had a holy bottle on, damn it. Oh well. Ooh, it wore off. <laughs> Better use another one. I'm serious, you guys, I do not want to fight any battles. I could not be any more sick of fighting battles right now, I don't think. Good lord, the game is lagging out. I really should start doing these on my laptop, but I want to finish the game since I don't want to have to port my save over to a different computer and all that crap. So I yeah, am. I'm going to finish Tales of Eternia on my old school desktop computer here, and then once I'm done with that, I think all future LPs I'm going to be doing on my laptop because that one is... it runs faster and it's, it's a lot better <laughs> compared to my dinosaur of a PC here. Poor thing. Yeah, hello elevator, thank you very much. The Eternia Melody that is actually Meridi's best weapon. It's our most powerful one. It is time elemental, but considering how often we have Meridi attacking, it's not that big of a deal to equip her with it. <clears throat> and we're going to head down these stairs because there's an important... An important event down here that we need to go through. Hello, sometime today would be good. Okay. 
time space. Whoa, white screen of death, hello. Ho ho ho, it's Santa Claus! No, uh, uh, no, uh, what do we have here? A group of youngsters? <clears throat> what did you say? Watch what you say, Reed. You're in the presence of a Supreme Kramel. Supreme Kramel. Yes, you heard right. There are more Kramels to be found. I am... S I'm gonna say Secundas, because that's what I've always said. The one who presides over the flow of time. The greater Kramel of time. The fact that mere mortals have managed to make it this far is quite impressive. There's no immediate need to test your strength. Come now, raise your Kramel cage. That's right, we don't have to fight him! No, Reed, we don't have to battle. That's what I just said. We'll fight you anytime you wish, but it does not need to be now. But if you wish to waste any more time, I may just crush you where you stand. Okay, good to know. Uh, by all means, go ahead and get in the cage. We're gonna put him in Keel's cage, actually. I can't believe we got his cooperation without having to fight. Don't look a gift horse in the mouth, Reed. Let's just be happy and leave. If we had fought, there's no way we could have beaten him. Not against the greater time, Kramel. Seems like each greater Kramel has their own view of the world. Alright. <clears throat> and I think we can go ahead and fringe now, too, actually. And Secundus will learn Distortion, and Undini's gonna learn Resurrection! And yeah, as he mentioned, you can fight him. We're not going to do it just yet, though. I mean, I did do a little test run during the break. I actually ran all the way through here and fought him. And I was able to defeat him, but it was really, really hard. It was like a long-ass battle that would probably take at least two videos. <laughs> but, um... So yeah, for the time being, we're going to avoid fighting him now. And come back a little later on. And I could, I could fight him now, I really could, but in the interest of making things a little easier, I'm going to come back later and we're going to fight him then. Don't worry you guys, we will come back and fight him because he drops an item that we are going to need, so rest assured one way or another we are going to be fighting him. And yet another holy bottle I need to use. Okay, so now that we have Secundus on our side, we can actually return return to the the top top side here. Oh my god, seriously the game is running this slow? This is ridiculous. And this chest up here is a fake, I'm going to ignore it. So we'll continue along here. <coughs> And if we progress north from this screen, it goes to a teleporter, and that'll take us further into the castle. But we're not going to do that just yet. We're going to go south. That'll bring us through this door, which this door is now open. So we can have a little shortcut back to that teleporter. And we're actually going to leave uh, leave the castle. <clears throat> My voice is shit. And what are we going to do? We need to, well, we need to get back to the little Orbis re relay station, whatever thingamabob. Oops, it's over this way. Where am I going? <laughs> yes, the relay point. And we want to go to the inverse dome. Ah, am I going to have enough time? Probably not. Turn it 180 degrees. Now I'm not going to have enough time. Oh well, that's okay. Let's head out here and uh, we'll call it a video for now, you guys. When we come back, we're gonna, yes, as you might have guessed, make a return to Inferia. Thanks for watching, I'll see you guys next time.